Now, this is a test I've been meaning to do for quite a while now. You can get wax resist and the good ones come coloured. This is the one I'm currently using. It works fine. It's coloured a light blue. It's quite visible. The colouring, as I understand it, is something along the lines of food colouring. Like, you can use food colouring. I don't know that they do. They probably use something else, but that is how you can colour things. Now, in theory, all the colours should burn off in the kiln. Uh, it is not something I have tested. It's not advice that I, I don't want to tell people it will be fine having not tested it. So I generally say, as far as I know, it will be fine. But I figured I would buy some food colouring and I've got my wax resist. And I'm just going to see if all of these colours will, in fact, burn off in the kiln, which they should do. So I've got a coaster. I'm just putting it in for bisque firing. So I'm hoping this comes out just with no colour on it at all which is what it should do. I'm gonna test, um, these just came from Amazon. They weren't the cheapest. They were, in fact, moderately expensive compared to a lot of the other ones. The reason I got these Pro Gel ones is because they came recommended for use in food. And I'm figuring that I probably only need a tiny bit of one of these for actually coloring the wax resist. And a, a jar of wax resist like this 500 mil will last me for ages because I dilute it. Another tip, if you're using wax resist, you can dilute it something like four to five parts water to one part wax resist and get a better application. You can go a lot further than that. Uh, there will be a point at which it stops resisting very well, but it works for the car dent puller to stick to. That still makes them airtight, just doesn't do the resisting part that well. So anyway, this will last me for ages. I probably won't need all of one of these tubes and I definitely wouldn't need all of all of these tubes. So I thought I'd get a recommendation for you where if you were to buy one, you could then use it for something else. Whereas the really cheap food colorings, I'm not sure I'd completely trust. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just trying to think of a good way of doing this and I haven't come up with a particularly good plan. So I'm just gonna do six blobs of wax resist. They don't even need to be this much. I just can't get it to drip less than that. And then I'll add a little bit of this and I'll just apply them in lines. This will be far too much. Yeah, because these should be incredibly potent uh, food colorings. These are the sort of ones where a tiny bit will do a whole cake. So with any luck, we will get to see a nice demonstration of just how visible you can make wax resist and then completely lose the color interestingly some of them have foil caps some of them have plastic caps if anyone knows why there's a difference I'd be quite interested to know I'm not sure if it's just you know, some machines do one some do the other or if there's a I'll look at the ingredients and see if there's something consistent between the ones of one kind and the ones of the other I am turning myself blue, if nothing else. Right, here we go. I'm going to go wash this off before touching it. Probably a good sign as to how effective they're going to be, but I am still blue after that. So, what I might do, this is my normal wax resisting brush, but obviously I can't do all the colours with it, so I'm just going to grab some ropey old brushes that I've got lying around I don't overly care much about. These are just the really cheap ones that you can get on Amazon. Nice to have a variety of ones that you don't care about. Picked up some more colour from somewhere. Oh, it's on the desk. Start with green. I'll work across. The nice thing is this coaster, I don't know how well it's coming out, has my logo stamped on it. See previous video for the laser cutter demonstration of how I achieved that, which means that if they do burn out or don't, we'll know exactly which ones do or don't because I'll just do stripes across. So here we have an incredibly green wax resist. You are not gonna miss that. I'm assuming, actually they are all E numbers, although as I understand it, E numbers can still be perfectly normal foods. So if you add uh, a spice or something which otherwise wouldn't 
sound it's not necessarily a chemical it could be something that would be added for any other purpose but if it's added for color it has to have an e number i mean these are you are not going to miss these wax resists if you colored it anywhere close to this much you're going to know exactly where you put it um, and if you're wondering how to get wax resist off brushes. Boiling water and hand soap does a great job. Just get a little pot, put um, some boiling water with hand soap in, doesn't have to be much of both, and just shake them around a bit and they will come out looking good as new. I mean, there is no question as to how potent this is as a colorant. And I can't imagine there are many things that go in food that will keep their colour up to a thousand degrees. But there are some things that can stain quite effectively. So that's what this is hopefully going to answer. I mean the middle colours are a little bit kind of earth tony and dull but the green yellow and blue are just ludicrously colorful hopefully this is all coming out properly on the camera but um yeah so that's going to go into bisque firing i'll find out tomorrow if any of these survive that right it's been fired and I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but essentially all colour has gone. There are a few bits where there's just a tiny bit of discoloration, possibly because they were on so thick. I'm not actually sure because the majority of the colour has gone. It's just a few spots. And when you look at the picture of it unfired, those do look more colourful like more wax ended up there so maybe there is a limit to how much it can burn off in the bisque firing the main thing is all the colours have gone where they were thin and you wouldn't put that much colour in the wax resist you can take those food colourings I'll put a link to those ones um, as I said I just picked those because I think they were supposed to be effective they're vegan they're you know they are full of e-numbers and they come with a warning that it might cause adverse behaviour in kids which isn't ideal but I'm guessing that's just because they're e-numbers and food colouring if you're gonna cook with them but if you're just using them for this you can probably buy a cheap food colouring I don't know those are the ones I tested I'll link them but the main thing is if you've got wax resist and you're struggling to see it or just want it to be more obvious food colouring works as described <laughs>